Give us today our daily bread. It's kind of an odd prayer. We live in a culture where our daily bread is something we go out and earn, right? Our daily bread is something that, well, is different for everybody. If you have more, you have more. If you have less, you have less. Our daily bread, as we pray for it, is something that reminds us that not everybody has daily bread. So when we pray, give us our daily bread, Luther asks, what does this mean? And his response is, in fact, God gives daily bread without our prayer, even to all evil people. But we ask in this prayer that God cause us to recognize what our daily bread is and to receive it with faith and thanksgiving. Did you notice what Luther instructs us about in this little teaching? First off, that we don't have to pray to get daily bread. Everything that we have, well, is already given to us. It's given by grace. There's that word again, that so Lutheran word, but not only Lutheran. That word that describes God's abundant giving of everything that we need. And notice that he acknowledges that God gives these gifts, this daily bread, to even the evil, those who don't believe in God, those who do evil in this world. Daily bread comes to everyone. What we do by naming it, by saying, give us our daily bread, is to acknowledge that it comes from God and to acknowledge that we should give thanks in everything for what we have. Now, the question that's next asked in the Catechism, and that perhaps we all ask, is what does Luther mean by daily bread? Well, he says this, daily bread is everything included in the necessities and nourishment for our bodies, such as food, drink, clothing, shoes, house, farm, fields, livestock, money, property, and upright spouse upright children, upright members of the household, upright and faithful rulers, good government, good weather, peace, health, decency, honor, good friends, faithful neighbors, and the like. You see how long the list is? And all of the things that Luther includes as the essentials of daily life? We need roads to travel on. We need roofs over our heads. We need food on the table, certainly, but daily bread is far more than that for Luther. It's all the abundant gifts that come from the provident hand of God. Did you notice also how he calls daily bread things that, well, we seem to condemn all the time? Good government, faithful rulers, hmm? Things that cause us to have strife in our lives. <laughs> An upright spouse, upright children. Good employment, maybe, could be added to the list. Good friends. All of the things that sustain us, that is what we ask for when we say, give us today our daily bread. It's not just let me eat, Lord, and, and have kind of a basic existence so that I live on the bread and water of the world. No, when we say, give us our daily bread, we acknowledge that God gives us everything we need, not just to survive, but to thrive, to be blessed, to engage this world and all its beauty and blessings. To pray, give us this day our daily bread, is to acknowledge the source, the real source of everything that we have. You may say, well, my daily bread I bought with my own hard-earned paycheck, but Providence gave you the job. You might say, no, I, I earned my way in this. I went to, went to school and learned my trade, but God gave you the gifts to learn. Whatever it is that you have in your life that sustains you, that is a gift from God. And if you believe for a moment that you created it all, then this call to prayer is important. Give us today our daily bread acknowledges that without God, we would have nothing. Let us pray. Holy God, give us thankful hearts, recognizing that we live by grace alone. 
Your abundance is granted to us without us even asking, but by, Lord, acknowledging that it is your hand that gives us all good things. Help us to praise you and thank you. We ask this in Jesus' holy name. Amen.